Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about human sacrifice. Now, I can already like see people just kind of dropping whatever it is that they're doing and getting upset. I can see YouTube pulling down my video, but really, honestly, I want you guys to hear me out before you start freaking out. Um, this message, you know, granted, there are people who obviously do actual human sacrifice. That's not what it is that I'm saying here. No one's lives should be lost at any point of you filming this video, and nor, nor am I encouraging you to take anyone's lives. Every life should be respected, um, obviously, including animal lives. That's not a part of my practice is by you know killing any, anyone or anything. In fact, even the herbs that it is that I use, I don't, or flowers, I don't pluck them right off of the bush. I don't pluck them off the, the plant or the tree because there needs to be respect for all life and nothing should be totally, in my opinion, now there are people who do do this, um, including animal sacrifice, but that's not something that I partake in and that's not what I'm talking about here in this video and I want that to be clearly known and stated um, before I go any further and before I go any deeper into sharing my message. The next piece that I want to say is I can hear my family and my friends who are very protective of me because, and right, rightfully so, they love me, but also I love them and we're very protective of each other. But I can hear them being like, just be careful of what you put out there on the internet because once you put it out there, it's a wrap, you can't get it back. And I understand that. I totally understand that. So just a disclaimer to from me to my family and to my friends, you guys, I hear your voices and hopefully this isn't gonna be something that's gonna make everyone go crazy and be upset, but I did wanna talk about it, honestly. And then the next disclaimer is, of course I'm in New Orleans. You know, New Orleans brings all different types, different types of energy, good and bad, positive and evil. And this, of course, is a space of love and light, including my apartment, including my apothecary, and including me as my own sacred space. So, um, yeah, everything that is done here is always done with positive intent and to harm no one. And I really want to put that out there first. And then second, to add on to that, New Orleans is in alignment with me today because we're going to be talking about human sacrifice and of course there's this dark sh cloud over the city of New Orleans today and we have high winds and we have storms that are about to come in starting around 2 o'clock and it's 2.33 now so the, the lights in the courtyard are all lit up, the fires you know going, it's cold, it's rainy and this is the perfect day honestly to, for us to have a conversation like this in my opinion. It's almost like Halloween only better than Halloween because we're entering into the time of death, honestly, where things are dying down. So, and things get quiet and things get hibernating. And I just feel like today, right now, is the perfect moment to talk about it. And I was almost inspired or called to talk about it. Now, interestingly enough, human sacrifice. So that's not. After my first trip to New Orleans, I went back to Philadelphia and I was thinking a lot about my future. And I was going through a lot. And during a meditation, during that, that time when I went back to Philly, Kali Ma came to me during this you know, meditation. She came to me in a vision and this was the second time that she approached me and spoke to me. And now Kali Ma brings a lot of fear for good reason to a lot of people. and. But when she has approached me, she has never given me any reason to fear her. In fact, you know, when I did the re when I do research on her, she's terrifying to think about, or was terrifying to think about. But when she ap appeared to me, she was the most loving, affectionate, and misunderstood goddess. And her approach to me really spoke volumes to me in my life. And. I was honored and I still am honored and she only shows up when she needs to show up and but she's there she's very much present she's very much present and I'm honored to be connected to her in that way and for her to choose me I guess but either way the second time when she came through during this meditation she was very she clearly you know appeared and said bring me their heads and I mean that's an intense message to receive for anyone but as soon as I sat with it, I was like, oh shit, you know, things are about to pop off. Things are seriously like, things are happening here. There's something that needs to happen. And 
essentially, when I sat a little and asked, like, okay, what do you mean by that? Um, essentially, what she was saying was, bring me the people that have hurt you. Bring me the people who have, um, you know, disrespected you, who have lied to you, have, who have manipulated, who took advantage of you. Give me the people who have had bad ill toward you. I'll take care of them. And I'll remove them. And that's what Kali Ma does. She will literally destroy to protect her children. And if you are under her as her child, as someone that she protects and that she looks out for, you're under her full protection. But at the same time, this I don't think that this is something that anybody should just willy-nilly, you know, attract or call into their lives because you don't know what you're dealing with when you're when you approach her and she needs to be re approached very carefully and with respect and for those of us who are her children then you will you'll know <laughs> you'll know <laughs> and we all kind of recognize each other <laughs> but anyways so when she comes to me during this meditation she says you know bring me bring me their heads and I I understood after asking you know and being more open to it what that meant was to it is almost like a, a sacrifice a human sacrifice and if you look at the image of her she's holding up all of the heads of the people that she conquered and she destroys them and essentially what she was asking is to for me to write down all of the people who have hurt me and all of the people who have tried to destroy me or have tried to take advantage in ways that are just so awful. You know what I mean? Like whether you be lying, dishonest, or manipulating, or um, cheating in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't have to be romantic relationships. It could be business relationships. You, like you really tried to take advantage of me, and or people who, you know, maybe their intent was not to be. Their intent was not with ill will, but the the impact of their actions had a negative reaction to me in the way that it changed my life in a way that made put struggle that was unnecessary and heartache and burden on my life and instead of me you know maybe lashing out or cursing them meaning like cursing at them or saying what it is that's on my heart i just kind of took it and held on to it and held it on held on to it in my heart and when Kali Ma came through, she wasn't saying that she was going to kill them or put curses on them. What she was saying was, I'm going to take, I'm going to destroy all of what has happened. I'm going to remove all of what has happened. This is the sacrifice, but give me their names. Who is it that did this to you? I will take care of it. I'll handle it. I'll destroy it. And ultimately, karma, of course, has a way of taking care of things all by itself so you don't need to put a curse on anyone me doing this ritual was not me putting a curse on anyone and Kalima wasn't putting a curse on anyone but of course their actions would be dealt with by the hands of the universe whether I had you know any influence in it or not which I don't put curses on people life will inevitably curse you all by itself curse you meaning like karma will circle around everything circles around but when it comes to human sacrifice and we're eight minutes into this video and I can hear some of you guys being like just get to the point and for those of you guys who want me to, the few of you guys who you know get upset when I ramble, I ramble because I have a message that I want to share. And if you don't want, if you want microwave messages, then maybe my YouTube channel is not the right one for you. But I'm gonna approach you guys always authentically, openly, and honestly with everything that it is that I do. And I hope that it reaches the right person at the right time. But when it comes to human sacrifice. This is essentially, for what I'm talking about, is um, giving to the spirit, the spirit, like the divine. I want to be very careful and choose my words carefully because I don't want to be misunderstood. But giving to the divine or spirit, if, you know, Kali Ma was the one who approached me, give give to them um, who has hurt you and who has desecrated you in some way or just, you know, wiped their feet on you or whatever the case is, been dishonest, been disloyal, untrue to their word, it, fill in the blank. And the way to do that is not by putting a curse on them, but writing their name down and 
by essentially when you say like I am sacrificing this, it's like I am giving to you divine, or I'm giving to you Kalima. These are the people, and again, I'm not. I don't want anyone to say that to think that for that I'm encouraging you guys to invite Kalima in because she truly is like a force to be reckoned with, and it's not to be taken lightly. So if I were you, I would just say higher, higher spirit, the divine, or God, or whoever it is that you believe in, or whoever it is that you work with. But you're writing down their name and you writing down their name and saying their name is this is who has hurt me and it's not an ill it's not with ill intent it's this is what I'm releasing this is what I'm sacrificing and again when you sacrifice it's not a sacrifice is not always something that is pleasant or feels good if it was it wouldn't essentially be a sacrifice but it's with that name that person carries a connection to it that is heavy on your heart and it's hard to go back into that space and to hear that person's name and at that time and to you know put it out there to the to spirit to the divine and be like this is who hurt me and this is what I'm sacrificing I'm giving this to you I'm giving the energy of this person that has been in my energy field I'm giving it to you and I ask that you remove it that you wipe it clean and that you take it from me and I give to you with it my heartache. I give it, give it, give with it. I give it to you with you know my disappointment, my frustration, the the feeling that I felt of being betrayed on this level, um, whatever the case is. And writing their name and then giving it over to the divine by burning it, burning it, not burying it, burning it, not flushing it down the toilet, truly burning it. And that's what I mean by sacrifice by human sacrifice not that it's a life that is being exchanged it's the energy of that person that still lingers within your spirit within that still lingers within your aura and by having the candle and having the flame or having the bonfire and writing it down and having this emotional outpouring and this emotional release and by giving it to the spirit by giving it to the divine it's I am giving this to you I'm giving this to you as a sacrifice in order for you to bless my life and I'm open to the blessings that you have for me. Sorry guys, I had to pause it because I got a phone call from someone that I just absolutely adore. But anyways, so yeah, that's what it is what I'm saying by human sacrifice. It's not that you go out and you, you know, take the blood of your ex and <laughs> spill it on. <laughs> that's on a whole nother level and we're not talking about that. That's not what we're talking about with human sacrifice, like at all by any means. It's writing down the name of the person um, preferably under the light of the full moon because it's just it brings up all that emotion it brings up all those feelings and then when you write it down you are um, you know essentially saying like you're creating from you're taking it from a mental thing to an emotional thing into a physical thing and then by burning it you're releasing it and you also have to be open like the sacrifice is is that once you let this person go and once you burn this you are actually letting this person go and I know that sounds so crazy because people will think, well, you know, if they've hurt you, why would you want to hold on to them? Why would you hold on to the energy of them? But the thing is that a lot of people don't want to admit this, but this is the truth, is that they hold on to the memory of heartache or the things that have hurt them um, and the people that have really hurt them, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, they hold on to it because there's something about that ache that is comforting to them or they just can't forgive. And when you write down their name, you are saying, like, I, I, I sacrificed this. I'm taking not only the memory of that, but I'm giving you the heartache, the, the heaviness of this, the suffering, and I let go with it. I let, I'm letting go of that with this. And that is the sacrifice. And the universe, the divine spirit, you know, will take care of it. You're not putting a curse on anyone. Um, you're just giving to them, you're giving to the, you know, you're giving to the higher power the space and the energy in order to transform your life because you have agreed to not hold on to this energy, this person, the memory, what this person has done to you any longer. And with that, you're energetically opening up to new to come in, new love, new opportunities, new experiences, new business partners, whatever, to come in. And that is, that's always how it works with sacrifice. You give in order to get. It, that's how energy works. You, you, know, you give and then you receive. 
and you sacrificing, ultimately, it's not for you to gain anything, but it's for you to let go. It's for you to actually lose, which means I lose, I'm, I'm willing to relinquish, I'm willing to let go of what this person has done and the hatred or the heartache, the pain, the suffering. I'm willing to let go of that um, and I give that to you, Kalima. I give that to you, Divine. I give that to you, Higher Power in exchange for my peace, my personal freedom, um, love for myself, love that I can give to others without having a cold, callous heart, um, opportunities to connect with people in the future, better business partners, better health, whatever it is. All right, so that's what I'm getting from Human Sacrifice that I wanna share with you guys. Um, and of course, this video is dedicated to Kali Ma for approaching me in the way that she did and does. and just for even like once I did that like release I guess in that moment when she came to me I respected it and I honored it immediately I took it straight to my altar and I wrote down all the names even like family members and I love my family so I would never want anything bad to come to them ever but at the same time like no one is perfect so there's been things that have happened and their names you know went on that list and our relationship is so much better because of it, but I had to sacrifice and let go of, you know, what has happened. And Kali Ma just speaks in the way that she speaks, which is bring me their heads. So bring her, I brought her their heads. <laughs> All right, so can't wait for YouTube to demonize my account. I can't wait to be attacked by the world. I, mean, I don't mean to speak this into existence, but um, you know, just talking about these things and without people actually listening and respecting you of course it comes with their own territory but it is what it is i love you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye